A bogus contractor accused of scamming thousands from a senior skips his day in court. Alfred Lagunas is now being sought by police on a $10,000 bench warrant. This is the mess he is accused of leaving behind. We previously showed you how he met a woman through church, and the woman paid him $8,000 for repairs to a roof and back patio. After some shoddy work, he fled, never to be heard from again. The contractor's board tells us he will now be added to their most wanted list. Fox 5's Kim Passoff has been following this case from the beginning. She joins us live from Justice Court. Kim? Yeah, so Lagunas was a no-show here in court today. The Nevada State Contractors Board says that he could face a year in jail and a $10,000 fine. And they say this isn't the first time that he has faced this charge, operating as a contractor without a license. That is why they want to warn the public about him before he takes money from anyone else. In this case, it involves an elderly woman and her brother with special needs. And we take that very seriously. And this was her life savings. I'm stuck right now. No money, no nothing. You know, I had this porch built for my brother who's handicapped for the two of us to enjoy. We didn't get to enjoy this last year. This is video of Alfred Lagunas taken by Barbara Ojito. Count the money right there, Al. She wanted to document giving him cash to make repairs to her home and backyard because she thought something was off. She met Lagunas through church. The unlicensed contractor allegedly scammed her out of $8,000, performing some shoddy work before abandoning the project. In Nevada, it is a crime for anyone to work as an unlicensed contractor. Nevada State Contractors Board spokesman Randy Escamilla says this case is a reminder of the consequences of hiring someone who is unlicensed. When somebody hires an unlicensed contractor, you won't be able to get your money back. The chances are very, very slim. But if you hire a licensed contractor, you have the protections of the Nevada State Contractors Board. The board investigates claims if something goes wrong with a licensed contractor and at regular hearings reimburses homeowners up to $40,000 through a residential recovery fund. No matter who you hire for your home improvement project, always pay with a check or credit card made out to the company, not the individual. And don't pay the entire cost up front. Under a new law that went into effect in October, contractors cannot ask for a deposit of more than 10% of the contract value or $1,000, whichever is less, unless they have special bonding. <laughs> And after Fox 5 reported on how Barbara was scammed just a couple of weeks ago, we were contacted by a legitimate contractor who says that he wants to make things right and plans on doing the repairs for free. Look for that update coming on coming up later on this week. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Before you go ahead and hire anyone for a job at your home, Check out this list on the board's website. Make sure you don't hire any of these people. This is a look at their top 10 most wanted across Southern Nevada. One woman and nine men are all charged with all sorts of different scams. We have a link to this page. It's on our website, fox5vegas.com.